can't do it. I was upside down last week, but this week my head just doesn't want to do it. But hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited again to be doing kids church with you. Kids church. Ooh, do a little happy dance. I see you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to Kids Church, guys. Um, we've got an exciting story. I'm going to be reading from an awesome book today. So make sure you stay tuned and make sure you've got your listening ears ready so you can listen and learn. Okay, but before we get started with the story, you know what we need to do? We're going to close our eyes and we're going to bow our heads and we're going to say a prayer together, okay? So pray with me. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we want to say thank you for this beautiful week. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you shower us with. Lord Jesus, I pray that you may open the hearts and the minds of these kids as they listen to the Bible story today, that they may be encouraged to learn more and more about you, Jesus. In your mighty name we pray, and we all say, Amen. So, let's get down to business to read this story. It's story time! And today I'm going to be reading you a story from the most epic book. And the stories are all true, so it makes them that much more exciting. Did you guess? It's the Bible! And today, we're going to be reading from Ruth, chapters 1 to 4. During the time of Judges, God didn't forget his promise that he would send a savior to come and rescue the people from their sins. God had already made his promise come true to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He had promised them that they would multiply and they would grow in number and also that they would enter the promised land. But the people during the time of Judges were still waiting for a savior to come and help them turn away from their sin. In one of the tribes during the times of the Judges, there was a lady whose name was Naomi. Her husband had died, and so she was left to raise her two sons all by herself. Her two sons grew up and got married, but then they also died. So now Naomi was left with no husband, no sons, and two daughters-in-law that were married, that had been married to her sons. Naomi told her two daughters-in-law that they should return to their mother's homes so that they could get married and have children. One of the ladies did just that. But the other lady refused to leave. She wanted to stay with Naomi. The lady that wanted to follow her mother-in-law was called Ruth. And I'm going to read from the Bible from Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. And this is what Ruth said. Do not make me leave you. For where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Naomi and Ruth became very close, and they decided to move to another part of the land, where they could get food and live closer to relatives. One of Naomi's husband's relatives was a good, kind man. His name was Boaz. With Naomi's instruction, Ruth was sent to gather wheat in Boaz's field. Boaz heard about Ruth, and she heard that she was a woman of good character. So he was extra, extra kind to her, making sure that his workers would leave wheat for Ruth to gather. After the wheat was gathered, the workers then went on to threshing and sorting the wheat. This was a long and hard job. One night, after Boaz had lay down to sleep close to where the wheat was threshed, Ruth came and lay under his blanket at his feet. When Boaz got up in the morning, he was shocked, but he could see that Ruth meant him no harm, 
and he wanted to help her and make Ruth his wife. Boaz married Ruth. And Ruth and Naomi thanked God for providing for them with such a loving family. Ruth went on to have a baby boy whom they named Obed. And in a few narrations, you're going to see who Obed was the grandfather to. And you're going to learn about why Ruth and Boaz's marriage was such an important part of God's plan. Stay tuned. You know what time it is? It's time to sing a song. We didn't get to do a song last time because our story, we had two stories last Sunday. Do you remember the stories? We had a story about not telling you. We're going to sing it in the song, okay? So you ready? You need to all stand up. Stand up. You. I'm talking to you. You. Stand up. Okay. Let's get to it. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Crush Jericho's walls and parted the Jordan. There's nothing my God cannot do. Gave Samson his strength and made him a fighter. There's nothing my God cannot do. To Gideon's men and defeated the bad guys. There's nothing our God cannot do. There's nothing our God cannot do. Okay, so I've had a lot of fun with Kids Church this week, guys. I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.